going to show you guys how and what you get when you sign up to do programming with me. It's time to eat. I'll update you on my programming soon. So I have to hit 500 carbohydrates today, 220 protein, and 100 fat. That gives me room for some of these bad boys, light and tangy. What we're going to do is look at my fitness power. So generally I have lots of rice, lots of sweet potato, and my bacon and eggs, my cereal in the morning. I had my cereal in the morning, which was plus muesli flakes. 100 grams. I'm having my thins, a peanut butter sandwich with 20, 30 grams of peanut butter, Helga's soy and linseed bread. I already had one of them though, so I'm not going to have it again because that has a lot of fat. Uh, it's alright fat, but it's got, I think I had like 8 to 10 fat with that, and then I had a bit more with this, so watch the fats there. This has got a lot of carbohydrates, it's also got a little bit of fat in it, so watch out for that one. And that one's just straight carbs basically. We're gonna have some English muffins, low in fat, high in carbohydrates. Might have some bacon and eggs as well. Let's see what I make. I'm just upstairs doing my programming, finalizing it before showing you guys. And I gotta eat, so I gotta fit these macros, so go on to my fitness pal. Go on diary. This is my one of my go-to meals. English muffins. Grab the scanner, scan it in. Scan that. Scanning's so easy. Alright, I'm going to reiterate the importance of putting it in on the tracker. So, who knows the macros of two English muffins. 90 grams of shortcut bacon, two eggs, and 20 mils of barbecue sauce. Not me, but it can all be tracked on here, so that's why it's so important. So I got my muffins, bacon, egg, barbecue sauce, and I got my... Now I'm going to make it... There's a nice hearty lunch. Bacon, egg, barbecue sauce, McMuffins, and two Helga soy and linseed with jam spread equates to 1,000 cows. Awesome. It's going to get me through my programming, and then I'll be able to show you how to provide value for you guys wanting to build some strength. What's up, guys? I'm just going to give you an overview on what I'm doing now. So, the next page up here. Now we've got two coaches here, Dylan Rudd and Daniel Felstein. So, what are these guys doing? Here, yeah, Dylan Rudd. Specializing in bodybuilding. People wanting to build their body more aesthetic than strength. And me, Daniel Feldstein, is going to be focusing on powerlifting or people that want to build strength. Okay. Where did I get my info from? Well, I've read numerous books. The one I'm finishing off now is called Practical Programming for Strength Training. So, the general gist of how it's gonna run and info-wise, where's this guy got his info from? Of course, if a PT just came out of AAF or a, some congregation that teaches PTs how to get their Cert 3 and 4, it's a lot different to someone who has been reading different strength and conditioning books and reading about adaption, things that I don't cover in the courses. So, all I'm gonna go through now is just, number one, making it user-friendly. My, basically my process of programming and also making it coach-friendly. So, how am I gonna get them the information that they need for their weeks of training nutrition, training, stretching, mobility, rest, efficiently. So, most efficient for them, most efficient for me, so that I can pull up their training plan quicker than say. Just about done now, so I'll be able to show
showcase it to you soon, but it's time to eat again. I have 868 calories remaining. So what do I need to eat? I need to eat 142 carbs. Zero fat. Oh no, my fat's different. I've got 15 fat left. And 78 protein. Easy. Protein in. So I got a protein shake, cereal, and maybe like some rice crackers. Do you want Hey. Finished. So. I'm gonna run you through how it works. So each week there's gonna be a weekly check-in. What does that entice? Well, you're provided with updated programming and weekly recap. As it says there, any questions that were asked for weekly check-in will be answered and any form critique or video sent in will be discussed. Nutritional guidance, which is pretty straightforward. I'll be giving you macronutrients to follow based off experience and prior testing on myself and you have to adhere to those macros as well. Brings me on to client specificity as it says there. So programs will be goal specific, number one. Whether that's competition, that's whether that's fitting it into your lifestyle, whether that's for prevention measures. Also, programs will be movement specific. So, known weaknesses, say in a deadlift, your lockout's weak, so we'll start doing some rack pulls, let's say. All spreadsheets will be saved to the client's profile and accessible at all times. So what I'm going to be using is Google Docs, Excel spreadsheet on Google Docs, which you can also access on your phone. Just on a mock nutrition, so someone's got total calories to adhere to, obviously they're going to have to use some form of tracker, such as MyFitnessPal, and they have to adhere to those macronutrients, enough water intake, sources of carbohydrates, sources of protein, sources of fat. So these are sources that I use, sources that I've known to be good and easily trackable as well. What I've done is I've created a novice program here. We got four day program. It's a four day program. So the different exercises or squats are in yellow, bench press is in blue and deadlift is in red and accessories are green. So I've put through sets, reps, weight that you have to do and I put in some notes on the side here so that's just to assist people when they're doing these so I've thought what's someone gonna ask if they're doing this and I've just put it in here okay. so what I've done for accessories is done RPE as you can see there rate of perceived exhaustion and what I've also put in here is Sorry, here's day four, so I've put in an accessory day as well, which I believe is crucial, so I put it in, so I'll tell all my clients that they have to do this. And I've also got mobility in here as well, so lots of programs don't actually have mobility included in it, but I have put on here must do, because I believe you must do it. It's so beneficial and I've given some basic tips here of what each thing does depending on how knowledgeable the client is about mobility. If a client ever needs to call me, sorry not call me, they could just message me, message me through. I'll get on my phone, Bing. it'll come up and I'll reply at earliest convenience. So that's how my coaching is going to work. If you're wanting to get strong and you want some assistance I'm your man.